I'm Maddie. And I'm Sam. Thanks again for all of your amazing animal questions. Keep them coming in because they're getting better and better each week. Absolutely. And some of you brainiacs out there are actually answering each other's questions, which is great community spirit. Yeah, you're getting there before we can get to you. So yeah, congratulations. Uh, But today is some of our favourite questions. So the first question is from Shelley Sunfish, who asks, plants photosynthesise for energy. So Sam, why are some plants carnivorous? That's a very good question, Shelley Sunfish. Um, well, a lot of plants live in fairly nutrient poor places like fens and bogs. And so for them, just grabbing hold of an animal to consume is quite a handy way of getting more nutrients. Yeah, but they don't actually need the meat in their diet, do they? No. But you know, they will, if they can, eat anything from uh, rodents and large insects. Lizards. Lizards as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, they don't need that extra supplement. But if they do take it, they're more likely to reproduce more efficiently and grow bigger, taller, faster. Stronger. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got some really cool ways of actually doing it as well. Some of them are sort of sticky, like fly traps, um, like sundew, for example. Then you get these big pitcher plants mm-hmm. where they sort of just fall in and start to oh, rot away. Oh, that's, that's a bad way to go. Stuff of rats going in there, yeah. Yeah. And then you've also got the classic Venus fly trap, um, snapshot traps. Um, and then you've got, gosh, what else have you got? Suction traps and lobster pot style traps, which are deep and twisted. <laughs> just like you. That's mean. <laughs> so I've got the next question from the Whiskey Forty One, who asks, "Why don't animals recognise themselves in the mirror?" But they do. They do recognise themselves. They do. Whiskey Forty One. Yeah, and there is actually a very cool mirror experiment which tests to see whether animals do recognise themselves or not. But it is that it, it's actually a very very cool experiment. So what the researchers do, or the scientists do, is that they mark the animal when it's unconscious with an odourless dye. So when they wake up, they have absolutely no idea they've been marked. And then they place the animal in front of a mirror and they test to see whether they go to rub the mark off or not. I actually had a real life example of this once after a bit of a heavy night. Someone shaved off one of my eyebrows and it took me <laughs> ages to realise in the mirror. I was like, something's wrong with my face. Um, but many Can I point out that bonobos and chimpanzees <laughs> passed this test and you didn't? <laughs> That's it, and dolphins and elephants and dogs are a bit hopeless at it. Um, birds, I think, just will attack the mirror. Will they? They're all a bit dopey. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, so animals do, just not all of them. Okay, I love this next question from MB Fuzz. Can all animals get the hiccups? Yes, they can. Other animals can get the hiccups. Um, a hiccup is basically when your diaphragm spasms, which then causes a short intake of breath. And then after that, the epiglottis, which is the flap of skin at the back of your throat, closes shut. And that's when you get the, the hiccup. And basically any animal that's got a similar breathing apparatus to us can get the hiccups. And all mammals can. Yeah, well, hiccup is, is is onomatopoeic. The hick is the sound of the uh, the epiglottis shutting, <laughs> and then the uh, up bit is the short intake of breath. <laughs> <laughs> and weirdly, I mean, not all animals sound like us doing hiccups. Cats oh, yeah. can actually be completely silent, which yeah. is quite sweet. Yes, and horse hiccups are often known as the thumps. <laughs> I guess that's because their hiccups must be really loud. Or bassy. <laughs> and they don't actually come from the throat, you can sort of hear it down in the chest. <laughs> Thanks again for all of your questions. We genuinely do read all of your comments and we're really enjoying these sort of You Asked episodes that we're doing now. So let us know if you like them. Absolutely. And please do subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time on Earth Unplugged. Bye. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Let's go. <laughs> Has it gone? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Do all animals fart? They're not the only ones who fart. Cows, elephants, snakes, and even fish fart. In fact, there aren't many animals that don't let rip. Sponges and jellyfish can't break wind, but that's simply because they don't have an anus.